Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I don't know there is a problem with the sound uh, uh, for some reason. Uh, now it's working. All right. Uh, so peace to all of you and uh, please be patient in case I lose my internet. Uh, you know the internet here is not really too much good. Uh, it's like uh, a lion, like a, sorry, a line and uh, of water and how many people open the faucet, the internet will be bad. So in case I lose my internet for a little bit, uh, just be patient. It just you know refresh your page and we will be back as soon as we can. Now today our topic is about halal food, and uh, somebody sent me an email saying, and I will read part of it for you. Always we keep the privacy of the people who email me. Uh, so the person who sent me the email saying the following Muslim eating halal meat and claiming that Christians follow that don't follow that I always got into argument with Muslims uh, Muslim friends my Muslim friends that concept of halal comes from the Jews it is not something new that Muhammad introduced to the world all right so here you see uh, actually this statement is absolutely for our benefit because this is statement proving Islam to be false because what the Muslim they are saying the Muslim are saying that they are following the teaching of eating halal meat correct they are following what notice will be carefully this is why I say always to the Christians, listen carefully what the Muslim they say to you. Listen carefully. Before you start answering, listen carefully. Don't start answering using your logic. Christians, in general, they don't listen what the Muslims are saying. Muslims are giving you opportunity to defeat Islam. What do you do? You say, oh no. No, no, hold on. Uh, this is halal and not halal is coming from the Jews. Why you want to go there? Just hold on. Did Muhammad even go there? Even Muhammad, did he? Did Muhammad forbid what the Jews eat? Why we don't listen carefully to ourselves and to the Muslim when they speak to us? So we are not listening to our Bible. We are not listening to the Muslims, and therefore we are not going to give a correct answer for the challenge. So what the Muslim claim is that they are eating halal food. But what is halal food? Halal food is a Christian food. And as long they are saying here in front of us that we Christians, we don't follow and we don't eat halal food. Then how the stupid Allah, he said to the Muslims, eat their food, which is the Christian's food. You see how you can destroy Islam in two seconds? As long we are people who they are not eating halal food, halal meat. And this is the Muslim claim to you. Then how the silly stupid Allah, he said to the Muhammadan, eat the Christian food. Do you see how stupid the argument is? Because if this is a true, and it is, you know, we don't eat halal food, Islam. Halal food of Islam is drinking the piss of the camel. Halal food of Islam is drinking the piss of Muhammad. Halal food of Islam is drinking the piss of anyone. Have Even, even the camel of Muhammad, they ate his poopoo. The camel of Aisha. You can see even the Muslim they made a video about it, a movie. The Bible forbid eating camel as an example. The Muslim eat camels. So when the Muslim they claim that there are people who follow kosher food list, that is absolutely false. Since when God he says you can drink the piss of a man. Since when God, he says, you can dress the piss of a camel, you can drink it. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, there's a verse in the Bible, it says that you will bake on uh, the dunk. Well, they are using it as a, as a fuel, they are not eating it. And until now, in your Islamic countries, you use the dunk of the cow and even human as a fuel. 
just go right now and type in Google dunk fuel you will see that number one country in the world who use it is Bangladesh Bangladesh so let us go to the Quran and learn carefully next time how you answer the Abdul Abdul are people who copy paste they don't understand what they are saying they are like Muhammad who say things he himself do not understand so if we go in the Quran we will find the following it is a switch to Arabic If there is any Muslim here in the chat, please help us and show us how we are people who don't eat halal food and then your God says, eat their food. Here, you see the Muslim, they start when they translate to solve this problem, they start adding things between two brackets. But are they exist in the Quran? No. So why they add the bracket to give Allah an excuse? This is the verse. This is the day. This is the day. And there he says, are all good things. In the Quran, there's no all. And there is good, no good things. At-tayyibat is all tasty things. Made lawful for you. The food of those who receive the scriptures is lawful for you. And your food is lawful for them. Bingo. But this is not true. Our food is lawful for them, but for us as a Christian, their food is not lawful for us because it is slaughtered in the name of a false god, a pagan god. And we can see many references in the Bible as an example, Act 21, verse number 25. So any food is slaughtered under the name of a false god is not a lawful food for a Christian. This is why Christian, they should forbid themselves from eating anything is called halal food. For this is a food slaughter for the name of a false God who is his name Allah, he is the moon God. In the same time here you see the moon God, he said to the Muslims, the Christian food is very good for you. So how we are wrong, how our book is corrupt, how Paul Muslim, they say, Paul, he allow you to eat, uh, you know, pork. Well, Muhammad is not aware that the Christians, they are eating pork. Hmm? He is not aware of what we eat. He have no idea. You Muslim today have an idea. And Muhammad, who came 600 years after Paul, he have no idea. His God did not tell him. So the answer for this you know, funny, silly, uh, stupid claim that even the food proven Muhammad to be a false prophet because if he is a prophet of God and the Christians are eating a food and they pray on it in the name of Jesus and if Jesus is a false God then how the stupid Muhammad he allowed the Muslims to eat something slaughter in the name of Jesus. And he said to them, all the food of the Christian is halal for you. All, with no exception. He did not say some. The verse is so clear, those who speak Arabic, they can read it easy. Today, today, this day, I made lawful for you the food of those who've been given the scriptures, which mean the Christian and Jews. Now here we ask the Muslims, as long as you are a person who follow uh, the teaching of, of uh, Moses, you claim that Moses uh, like Muhammad and Muhammad like Moses. Well, did Moses allow you to eat the camel meat? Even the milk of the camel? Did Moses allow his people to drink piss? Since when drinking piss is kosher? So this silly religion says that eating pork is bad, but drinking piss is okay. 
is my internet is good please again if i in case i lose connection just refresh your page we will be back as fast as possible and here the muslims they try to say to us that there are people who follow god okay what do you follow god how you follow god exactly is kissing black stone is following god or make you an idol if we ask muslim now who they are in the chat people who claim to follow god claim to follow the god of moses why you kiss the black stone you remember we have a chat live chat with a muslim website it's called convert to islam we asked them why you kiss the black stone he says because it's holy i said why it's holy he said because the prophet kiss it i said why he kiss it he said because it's holy like what okay let's go back to zero why the prophet kissed the black stone because it's holy why it's holy because the prophet kiss it you see this religion is so silly so stupid they have no answer for anything it's just a copy paste cult why you why the prophet kissed the black stone because it's holy okay why it's holy because the prophet kiss it It sounds like we are giving them the question which one came first, the egg or the or the or the chicken. I mean it should be very simple, but they have no idea why Muhammad said. Or what they knew that they are blind people who follow blindly. Muhammad kissed the stone, we kiss the stone. Muhammad drink piss, we drink piss. The Quran says that Allah he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday for what for fishing in Saturday are you serious yes brother as long this day is so serious to Allah to the point Allah he is making a Darwin theory you see Darwin is the opposite of Allah but they, they match you know it's like in the other side Darwin, we say, he said, we used to be like frog or monkeys and we became a human. Allah, he says, no, you used to be human and we made you monkeys. So, if you go in the Quran, as an example, not limited, Chapter 2, verse number 65. The Islamic tradition state that Abraham was instructed to use the final black stone to finish the building of the Kaaba. Well, thank you, Mr. Yusuf. Where do you get this from? Show me. Will you say something? Don't tell me Islamic tradition. Show me. Secondly, Abraham never was in Mecca, and we can show you the proof from the, from the Quran itself. But let us go here first. Any who knows those who broke the Sabbath, how we said to them, be apes and despised and hated? Well, the translation is very funny and silly. It says here, Kunu qirada, be monkeys. So, is Saturday is extremely important to Allah? The Muslim will say yes. So why you don't follow Saturday then? What happened? Hmm? What happened? And Allah, he will make you an ape or a monkey for fishing in Saturday, but he will not make you a monkey for raping a child? I mean, do you see how crazy this Allah is? If you go and do fishing in Saturday, Allah will make you a monkey or a pig. But if you rape a child in Saturday, Allah will not punish you. But fishing in Saturday is a big problem. And if you read the story about uh, the fishing penalty <laughs> oh boy 
it says that Allah he made the fish appear to them only in Saturday really okay and then those those Jews are fishermen they live in an island in the sea in Hawaii brother and Allah he made the fish appear to them only in Saturday and then Allah he forbid them from eating from fishing in Saturday which means they cannot eat the whole week okay so now how we will eat so the fish disappear six days a week and then they appear only in Saturday and Allah because they broke his promise or let us say the order not to fish in Saturday and not to do anything in Saturday so Allah he made them pigs and monkeys but look how stupid that is if we go to the Siri Quran the yellow pages of Muhammad the book which does not match its own words you will see here Muhammad says no if you are hungry you can eat even pork <laughs> do you know that if you are hungry you can eat even pork. Read it. Chapter 5, verse number 3. It's forbidden for you, pork. Okay, forbidden. But brother, if you are very hungry, brother, it's okay. Allah is all merciful. Like, hold on. So, in chapter 2, sorry, chapter 7, verse 163, it says that those who they broke the Sabbath, and did fishing in Saturday and the fish only appear to them in Saturday which means they are angry how come Allah punishing them by making them pigs and monkeys because they did fishing in Saturday but Allah he allow Muslim even to eat pork if they are hungry are you with me are you listening you see the hypocrisy if a Jew he is hungry Allah he in purpose he made the fish disappear for him all the week and appear only in Saturday so first week second week those people are dying from hunger and now they decide to fish in Saturday come on we have to feed our food our, our children so they did fish in Saturday and if you don't believe me by the way we can read the interpretation and you will see all the interpretation including Ibn Kathir by the way Ibn Kathir was a Jew and that's what the Muslim will say to you. Just wait. What about the Jalalain? He was a Hindu. Oh, what about the Tabari? Oh, he's he's a Tabari. Tabari is not a Muslim. He's a, you know a communist. Oh, okay. Uh, what about uh, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet? Oh, Ibn Abbas, he left Islam because he was watching a, a soccer football game, you know, and he like start cursing Allah. Oh, okay. So who is the one who will give us the interpretation for this verse? Muhammad himself. Muhammad himself, he said to us that Allah, he hide the fish from them all the week. So how come if a Jew is hungry and he cannot eat, he cannot fish in Saturday, and Allah will not make that food lawful for him, but if a Muslim is hungry, he can eat pork, literally pork. How does religion work? Hmm? You don't believe me? Chapter 5 verse 3 it says, uh, I mean the cha uh, uh, chapter 7 verse 163 it says that Allah he hide the fish from them. Uh, you don't believe me? Oh, okay, we can go to the interpretation. Do you want to go into the inter inter interpretation? Well, we can go to the interpretation and then you will say to me I don't accept interpretation okay why don't accept the interpretation because those are not Muslim Ibn Kathir is not a Muslim he work for you a Jalalain is a Muslim even Muhammad is a Muslim chapter 7 verse 163 is my internet can you guys because I see the speed is bad here so in case we lose it, let me know. This is Ibn Kathir. By the way, Ibn Kathir was a YouTuber in his time. He was trying to refute the Christians. So Ibn Kathir really is not a valid source for anything. This guy is a fraud, like he's a prophet. But he tried to fix it, so he make it blind. 
like you know the guy who have little uh, little piece of uh, dust in his in his eye Ibn Kathir he bring a nail to take the dust from the eye and he, you know, he then he screw the eye of the person so look what Ibn Kathir he says uh, it says here that Allah he made this is a translation for the verse Allah he made that as a trial for them even the verse saying to them by the way this is a trial from us so you don't even need the interpretation even the verse saying this is a trial from Allah Allah he made the fish not to come to them in Saturday in the whole week sorry and come to them only in Saturday so look what it says that there is a village it's called Al Ayala in the shore of uh, Guzlum Red Sea Muhammad ibn Ishaq recorded in from Ibn Dawood, blah 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 from Ibn Abbas, blah 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 from 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 and asked them about okay blah 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 the people of the like the, the village okay blah 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 okay and then when their fish come to them in the Sabbath they visible in the top of the water look the fish is making ballet you know how the fish like they they, they go to the circus now tiki 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 I'm here you cannot fish me it's Saturday blah, 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 blah. so Allah he made the fish do that and then when the day is not Sabbath, the fish disappear. And then this is how we tested them by making the fish swim close to the surface in the water when it's in Saturday. On the day which they were forbidden to fish, the fish would be hiding from them on the day, uh, which means the day which they are you know, allowed to fish. And they would go, you see the joke? This is how halal food work. This is how God He made. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, listen. Don't do any work in Saturday. But I'm not going to let you to do any work in Saturday too, and in the rest of the week. So how the people will feed their children? And then now because they are hungry, they decide to eat and to fish in Saturday. And then Allah He made them pigs and monkeys. But Muslims, if they are hungry, they can eat pork. You see the stupidity of this book. You see it. Before actually I go live, I saw a Muslim posting this. <laughs> Mad Afzal, <laughs> Christian even eat rat and dogs and bat. Eh, really? <laughs> we do? <laughs> you know what? I would like you to make a video to tell us how it tastes to drink camel piss directly from the source. Put in your mouth there. And no, we don't eat rats and dogs. If somebody doing that, this is not Christian teaching. This is his tradition from before Christianity, maybe. We don't eat dogs. And you know what? In the same time, the Muslim, they claim that they are having the best religion by what they eat. I mean, who cares if you eat poo-poo or not? If you are a good person, you are a good person. If you are bad, you are bad. Jesus says it's not what go inside your mouth make you bad or dirty. It's what come from your mouth. When the Muslim will learn what ethic is. Ethic is not what you eat. So now you don't eat pork, but you marry children at the age of six. Look how good you are. I used to have a Muslim, he go, you know, he used to work with me. So we go to a restaurant close by. Actually, it's the only restaurant there. And, you know, every day he go there and he told them, do you have halal pork? The waiter or the waitress, they laugh and they bring him pork. They said, this is halal pork. This is halal. So six months, he is saying the same word. After six months, he said, he said, he said to me, what are you eating? So I said to him in Arabic, Khanzir. He said, Auzu Billah, I seek refuge by Allah, you are eating pork? I said to him, You stupid, you are eating pork for the last six months. He said, What? But it was, the conversation is in Arabic now. So I said, You are eating Khanzir for the last six months. He said, Me? I said, No, even now you are eating, you idiot. He said, How? He said, Isn't you just now, you just told them, Bring me halal pork? The stupid, you do not know that pork means pig. You know, he, he thinks the word pork means meat. 
So he was asking for halal meat. So for six months, he's eating halal pork. And I asked him how it tastes. He says, so good, man. I love it. Really? I love it. I'm, you know, I, I, like I wish at that time, like I have a, like, you know, cameras at that time, they were like in the beginning, there's not like phones, you know. So it would be funny, the most funny video on YouTube. Halal pork. Every day he eat halal pork. I said to him, the change, just eat vegetable or something. He said, no, 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 this, this is very tasty. And then after six months of eating halal pork, he asked me, what are you eating? I said, an Arabic khanzir. He said, what? This is disgusting. He want to go even to different table. I said, you stupid. The dish in front of you is khanzir too. What make you having a prophet is not what you eat. Is your prophet, is he a prophet? As you see, his book does not match his own book. In one hand, he said to the Muslims, if you are hungry, you can eat even pork. You can eat anything if you are hungry. But when the Jews, they did fish in Saturday and they are eating fish, which is a awful food, he made them pigs and monkeys. So going back to the zero, when a Muslim says to you, you are not following the teaching of God and you don't eat lawful food. Like now when this idiot, he said, Christians are eating even rats. Okay, based on what you just said, Abdul. Based on what you said, not what I said. This is you, Abdul, saying, where are you, Abdul Afzal? I mean, even your name should be in the museum, Afzal. They're trying to copy Arabic and the word turned out very funny, Afzal. This is the word from Fadl, so it became Afzal. Because they don't have the letter the, so like zal, afzal, afzal, okay. Christian even eat rats and dogs and pet. Okay, that's wonderful. So how Allah, he says, you can eat our food. I mean, who is a stupid here? You, your God, your prophet, your religion, who? So now if you are a person and a Muslim come to you and say to you, even rats and even dogs and even pet, uh, there's something missing in the list? Let us add more. Fly, cockroaches. Hey, by the way, your prophet, he eat lizard. And one day he changed his mind because he thought that this is he's a, he's a Jew. <laughs> the lizard was a Jew. <laughs> Why? Because he have five fingers. Like, what the heck? So anything have five fingers, he must be a Jew now, huh? So when a Muslim he come to you and he says, "Oh, you are not eating halal food," says to him, "Okay, what do we eat? What do we eat?" He will start counting for you supposedly. And like this guy, it's going to be your lucky day if he call me and he says to me, "Christian Prince," all of a sudden he's like he's a he's a he's a Zakar Nag, you know? Christian Prince, Christian Prince, you are Christian are eating rat and eat dogs. And even they eat that. And some of them they eat monkeys. And some of them they eat donkeys. Oh, by the way, your prophet eat donkeys too. Uh, brother, brother, this is halam. Okay, uh, so as long as we eat rats and donkeys and monkeys and dogs and pets and zucchini and tokini and mokini, how come you say God, he says, eat our food? Did your God here, there in the verse says, eat some of it? Or he says, I make the food of the Christians and the Jews lawful for you. Now, the Muslim to get them, get their God executed, they say, Oh, God, Allah did not mean all the food. Okay, did he say there? <laughs> did he say there, I make for you the food of the Jews and the Christian? Did he say some? Do you see the word some? I mean, is your God Allah so silly he did not know to use the word some? So my friends, this is a very silly, stupid religion. And Muhammad is not a prophet. Okay, a challenge to the Muslims here. Who is a Muslim can give me a prophecy of the prophet of the food? The prophet who eat everything, and lawful actually. Even the Muslim, they drank his blood. His blood, can you believe it? They drink even the, the laundry water of his, his, from his underwear. 
Any Muslim can show me where Muhammad is a prophet in the Quran? What make Muhammad a prophet in the Quran? Any Muslim can show me where we can find the prophet Muhammad in the Quran? Because you call him a prophet. Okay, what is the prophecy of Muhammad in the Quran? Have you ever heard of a prophet? His prophecy is not exist. As an example, Muhammad, he made a prophecy. He said to the Christians, if you don't believe in me, Allah will make you pigs and monkeys. Uh, or he, he, no, he will erase your faces. Like what? What he will do? What you will do, Allah? I will erase their faces. Is that true? If we don't believe in Allah, Allah will make our faces look funny and he will make our faces, he will erase our eyes. Uh, is that true? Muhammad, he made a threat. He did not say in the judgment date what will happen. This is now. All you into them, the scriptures has been, you know, what this translation is given, believe in that what we have revealed, confirming what you process. Uh, by the way, what, what the verse here is saying, like what, what, hold on, hold on. What? The Quran saying that we confirm what you possess. Are you, are you okay, Allah? So how, you confirm what we possess and what we possess says Jesus is God. How do you confirm that? How do you confirm our food? Do you see the stupidity? And then he continue. If you don't believe in what we reveal to you, which Muhammad Quran, which confirm what you possess, which is very funny, because if confirm what look look at this stupidity, the Quran confirm what we possess, still we don't want to believe in it. Look like, what the heck? <laughs> so the Quran confirm what we possess. And still we don't want to believe in it. Don't you see there's something stupid there? So the Quran confirmed that Jesus is God. And Christian they say, no, he's not God. <laughs> and then look at the threat. Look at the threat. This is the prophecy of the prophet. The prophet of Allah he is making a threat. If you don't believe in Muhammad. Okay, what you will do? What you will do? What, 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 what you will do? Uh, be, we believe we before we destroy you, Constance. And what Constance? Oh, I can read this word. Hold on, I need, I need like a week to study it. Constance. Come, come tomorrow. So as we confound them, so or curse them as we curse them. What, what, what kind of a translation this translation is? Where it says erase their faces, where's the faces? Look, the whole verse is changed. The word faces is not there, erase is not there, making their faces backward is not there. I mean, what is this? This translation of who? Let me see who is this idiot. I think he's using Google translation maybe. Even Google translation would not do that. Let me see, hold on. Which, which, which idiot is the one who is making this translation? Biktal, Biktal. Okay, let's go to different idiot. Hilali and Khan, brother. Hilali and Khan, okay. Oh, you who have been given the scriptures. And the funny, by the way, Allah, he keep calling us the people of the scriptures and the Muslim, they say we don't have the scriptures no more. So how you stupid Allah keep calling us the people of the scriptures? It's like saying to Sam Shamoon, the guy with the hair. Abdul, he used to have hair. How you keep calling him the guy with the long hair? So, 
either we have hair or we don't have hair no more. So when you say people of the scriptures and you say our scriptures are corrupted, that's when you are an idiot. Confirming what is already with you. Look at this guy. I mean, man, confirming what is already with you. Before we efface faces. <sighs> honest, honest to Allah, my face is backward. Yes, I'm like I like now I'm sitting my back to the computer because this is the only way I can face the screen. This is a threat made in the time of Muhammad by his God, the funny Allah, the yo-yo, the one who keep coming and going up down every day. The yo-yo God. If you don't believe in Muhammad, I'm going to erase your faces. The Christian they said, okay, do it. Muhammad he said, What? He said, just do, just do what you just said. Tell your God to do it. And the Christians are waiting until now. Any Abdul? If there is any verse says the Christian will die for Muslim sin, this is actually uh, uh, given in details in the hadith where Muhammad he says time will, like the judgment day will come and then the Muslims will have sin like mountains and then Allah will take it and place it on the Christians. So here you see that Islam is a silly cult. Muhammad is not a prophet. He will go, he prophesy that Allah, he is going to punish them immediately. The same as he did to those who he cursed and he made them pigs and monkeys. You see, this is not about judgment day because he says the same, the same as we did to those who we cursed in the Sabbath. And what he did to them, he made them pigs and monkeys. Is the poison lamp is halal? Hey, you know, this is not really. I mean, still the 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 the, the goat Muhammad ate. Uh, it's halal for him, yeah. But uh, poison or not, that's not his fault, you know. But the question here. I mean, Muhammad, he says, if you eat seven ajwa, uh, and he do every day, no poison will affect you and no black magic will affect you. And later we find that Muhammad died because of poison and he was under black magic. Look at the fool. The doctor who tell us not to smoke, he was smoking. That is Muhammad. Now, do we have any Muslim have any comment, anything you want to say? Any Muslim want to call me? Anyone? Needy, needy. A refuter is needed. After I log off and hang up, the Muslim they will say this guy is a coward. They beat us face to face. My friend, as you see, Allah he erased my face. How I can show my face now? Look at this. I did not believe in Muhammad. I woke up in the morning, I found myself look like a Christian prince. And since then I have no face because Allah erased my face. Are you saying to me, Allah is lying, I have a face? And look, look, brother, we efface faces by making them like bag of neck. <laughs> I mean, Muhammad is a fiction guy. He's so good in cartoon. Look at the imaginary of this guy. I mean, what did he cut with this image? Like, I will make your face a race. Like, there is no details. That's it. Your eyes is gone. Your eyebrows is gone. Your nose is gone. Your mouth is gone. But that will not make it the same as the back, my friend, because in the back there's hair. There's no face. Your God Allah is confusing or confused between the back of the man and the face of the man. Because the face of the man don't look like the back of the man. Maybe Allah will grow here, there. So how this guy is a prophet of God, he make a threat and then the Christians woke up in the morning, nobody have an erased face. Huh? Jesus, he cursed the tree, the, the tree died. He cursed the tree, a tree, which is extremely impossible to kill, really. I mean, you cut the tree, you come a few months after, you'll find the branches coming out from it, from the ground. Jesus said one word to the tree, the tree is dead. How Muhammad is a prophet? Do we have a Muslim? But you know, we have to admit that Muhammad is a true prophet. Look, look, look at this genius. 
Allah forgive not that partner should set up with him in worship. But he forgive anything else. Like, who look at the heck, what does that mean? Well, Muhammad was a pagan all years of his life, was worshiping, taking partners. And all those who converted to Islam, they use worshiping with Allah, other partners. So if Allah forgive not, that means all of you are going to hell. Just to show you the stupidity of the one who made the book. If you are saying to me that he meant here that Allah will forgive not those who die and if they take partners, that will not work because forgiveness cannot happen anyway, anyway, after death. Why? Because God, he give you a chance to repent until the moment you die. After that, there's no repent. That's it. What you did, what you did. So, before you die, you have to repent. Okay. But here it says, Allah will not forgive those <laughs> who take partner with him. So a Christian, he convert to Islam, he is wasting his time. He's an idiot. Because simply the Quran says, a person who take partner with Allah, by the way, we don't take partner with Allah. We don't consider Allah at all. A Muslim, he will say to you, isn't it in the Arabic translation, it says the word Allah. This is a stupid translation. This is why it's called translation. You cannot find anywhere in the Hebrew book, in the Aramaic book, in the Greek book, the word Allah. A smart Muslim will say to you, the word Allah, Allah, the Allah. <laughs> that word means God. Does not mean God. That, that's not a name. Abdul. And actually, your God name is coming from the Aramaic. This is true. It's a story from the pagan who will believe in the moon God. But if you ask a smart idiot like James White, he will say to you, the Muslim don't worship the moon God. Even the Quran says don't worship the moon. You see the stupid? I mean, he is so confused and he claimed that he have a PhD between worshiping the moon and the moon God. Who said to you that the moon God is worshiping the moon? The moon God. Not the moon is God. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? So, did we give you the answer for this uh, the thing about uh, about uh, uh, Christians? You don't follow the teaching of God. You eat, you eat what? You eat rats. One of the famous, the most famous food in the Middle East is eating boogers. You go walk in the street, you see everybody digging in his nose and eating halal. It's halal. A fly fell in the dish of the hummus. Hmm? A fly fell in the hummus. The guy was making hummus by hand, you know, in the store. You go to the store, you order hummus, you tell him like half kilo. So he made it for you, like he has like a like a hand tool to smash it for you. So when he was smashing the hummus, a fly fell down in the hummus. The kid, he says, uncle, uncle, Haji, the fly fell down in the hummus. The guy, he said, where it is? He smashed it too with the hummus, you know. Halal. They drink the prophet piss. They drink camel piss. They eat camel milk. They drink camel milk. They, they do everything wrong. And then they come to us and to brag about they are people who eat halal food. And even the Quran says, you can eat the Christian's books, so the, Christian, the Christian food. The Christian food is lawful for them. Why? Why our book is lawful for our 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 book is confirmed, and whatever in our book is confirmed, and the proof of that that our food is lawful for you. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Any Muslim? Hmm? 
So you Christians, next time a Muslim he says to you, you don't follow the Bible, you don't eat, you follow, you don't follow God, you don't eat halal food or kosher food. Say to them, then how you say God? He says you can eat our food. You see how easy to answer. Do you know the story behind the symbol of the mosque? Well, there is many stories. It is, you see, you cannot take one story and make a story of the story. You have to connect all the dots to have an image. You see, when you take a picture, even with your phone, your eyes will see only what is in that image, but what is in that image is not everything. Because everything around you have a four, four dimension, at least, if not more. Because there's inner, there's inside, there's behind, there's in the shade, there's in the darkness, and there's in the right, there's in the left, there's in the back, there's in the front. So you take a picture, you have inner in the front. So one picture is not enough to get where the moon symbolic came from. But we can connect the dots together and then we will reach to know where the moon symbolic came from. But that needs really a bigger study. However, what makes Islam a pagan religion is not the moon symbolic. That's not really the reason. The, you know, the reason we believe Islam is a pagan religion because Allah Himself and the Quran says, "I'm a pagan god," and we can show tons of reference. As an example, when Allah in the Quran He says, in the chapter of the moon, why there's a chapter for the moon? He Muslims, why there's a chapter for the moon? Because the moon is split, okay? And who is the one who made the moon split? Allah is yes, the moon God. Do you see it? Okay, what the moon God he did? He is in control of the moon. <laughs> did he split the sun? No, because he's not the sun God. <laughs> so he split the moon. Okay, and Allah, he split his moon because he is the God of the moon. And now supposedly this is a sign that the judgment day almost started. But this is a proof that the one who made this verse is a false prophet. And the one who is behind it is an idiot. Because the moon never split, otherwise the moon will be destroyed. And even the earth will be destroyed. Because one part of the moon will be grabbed, or maybe both of them will be grabbed by the earth. Because remember, then the size of the moon and the weight of the moon will be different. And then the, the earth is going to grab this small part because now it's half size. And that half size mostly is going to hit the earth. So is the moon split really? No. It was an eclipse. Muhammad, when he say the eclipse, he go crazy. He go to the maniac mood. And we can prove to you, you can just right now and search for the word eclipse in the hadith. You will find tons of reference about Muhammad going crazy when he see an eclipse. Like why? What happened? Look at this. Aisha reported that there was a solar eclipse during the lifetime of the Messenger of Allah. <laughs> so he sent a person to call Allahu Akbar Takbir, Allahu Akbar Takbir, come over, come over, Takbir, Takbir. Everybody come. And then what they do? Let us pray. Like what happened? Any Muslim can tell us what happened? What is the problem of Muhammad? Well, what takbir for? And Muhammad actually, he don't accept to say that, don't say, he, even he forbid them to say the word eclipse. He said, don't say, Kusafat al-Shams, say, Khusifat al-Shams, because it's Allah who made it do that, read it. Here another problem.
Hafiza Khan? Hazifa, Hazifa Khan. Okay, my friend. I will open my pal talk just for you. Text me, please, in pal, in pal talk until I open my pal talk for you and you can call me. <coughs> okay, I'm logging in pal talk, Mr. Khan. Please text me immediately and I will call you. <coughs> okay, I see that you have you texted me. All right, I will call you. Give me a second. Let me put my headphone. <coughs> okay, to show you first the the text of uh, Mr. Hafiz Khan in the screen. Uh, debate me CP, okay. Today, debate me CP. You are here. You are scared, cat. Call me. Uh, let me call you. Call me. Let me call you. So, you guys, as, uh, you are scared, cat. This is the start. Let us see who's, the, who's going to be the cat in two seconds. Go ahead. It says using older version of Pal Talk. Are you using computer or you are using what? What are you using, my friend? See what it says? Hafiz, Huzaifa, Huzaifak. Is that you? The same person? You are using older version of Palto. So, if you are using a phone, maybe it's better if you use a computer. I will give you a minute or a few minutes to. Uh, to solve this issue and I will call you back. Who is a Muslim who would like to call us? <coughs> Any Muslim? Hosefa, I just called you. No, no, you don't need to call me. You need to update your software because I could not call you anyway. That means we have two different versions of the software. So you have to update. I showed you the message. Here we go. Let me call you again in front of everybody. All right. Here we go. I'm calling you. It says Huzaifa AK is using an older version of Paltalk that does not support our new video audio calling features. So my friend, act as a growing man and fix it. Either you update or change your gadget. <clears throat> and uh, soon we will see who is the scared cat. I'm, I'm not going to call you cat, by the way. I mean, cats are braves. There's no way you are a cat. I saw a cat chasing a dog. Did you block me? If I block you, how you can text your idiot? Don't get married, Takbir Khan. You know, if you are now engaged and your uh, your future wife, she say what you just said, she will say, what kind of an idiot I'm going to get married from? How you are blocked and you are texting? Abdul, conspiracy, anything is conspiracy against them anything if shaitan fought because you say allahu akbar even shaitan he rub himself around your penis like what shaitan he play with your anus if you don't pray when you go in the bathroom all of it is about playing with your and everything is about the anus of the muslim the conspiracy of the anus like you go you open fox news you see like trump he says i won the election you open Taliban news, the Satan brother is going to play with your anus. Like, what? True story. Did you block me? If I block you, how you can text me, Abdul, potato? Did you block me? <laughs> Did you block me? <laughs> uh, go, go, go. Idiot.
Uh, what we can say? Who's next? Did you block me? Gary can text me if I blocked you. And I am the one who's calling you. It says outgoing call rejected. Here we go. Do you see it? Do you see how many times I called you just now? Outgoing call rejected. 11.25, which is the hour. Idiot. I'll block you too, because here we go. <laughs> and you know what? Let me, um, I, I, I will add you to my list. Uh, still the same. I added to my list just to, you know, to show you how much I care for you. Still, I cannot call you because you have a stolen software of window, maybe. Is your window is not genuine? Hmm. CP, go, go on. Hold on. Still God, Allah, can you explain to me? Well, this is because they live in the Muslim countries and they are under the influence of uh, Islamic, uh, you know, uh, culture. Otherwise, they should not use the word Allah. The same happened to Arab Christians in the Middle East. They are under the occupation of, you know, the cult of uh, Muhammad. So, but that's not a reason for anything. Even it's wrong. But for sure, we don't worship the God of the Muslims. And that's why it's wrong. One more time, call. Yeah. Here we go, I just call you. I will call you again, here we go. Change your computer, change, change. Change your computer if it's stolen window or use your, your phone. I'm not going to call you anymore. I will give you 15 minutes to fix it and then I will try to call you one more time. If not, take care. It's not because of YouTube, no. It's not because of YouTube. It's because you have a bad software. Do we have any Muslim who'd like to call us? Someone speaking about Genesis, the one we answered yesterday, saying that he, the, the person he was holding the Gentile uh, of Abraham and uh, to take an oath, oh, that's false, you know. Doesn't matter who says that to you because simply it says under his thigh, did not say he's holding his Gentile. So if somebody is giving you his own explanation, that's because he's an idiot. I heard of people holding a, a, a holy book to take an oath. I never heard of people holding a penis. <laughs> so don't go to the idiot, otherwise you will turn into idiot like them. Even the Bible, actually the Old Testament, put the punishment of death if a woman, she involved in a fight of a man with her husband and she put hand, her hand in that area. So that is not accepted. Anyone he give you his own interpretation, which is not proven to be from the Bible, is his interpretation. Anything, doesn't matter what. So we don't take interpretation of an article of somebody he says so. He have to give us the proof. And obviously the proof is not there. Do we have any Muslim? Uh, you know, uh, Phil, please don't delete a Muslim saying things. It's okay. He is saying that Christian, they believe in this. We can answer him. How, how I can answer him now? You deleted his comment. Don't do admins. Don't do what the Muslim do. The Muslim, they mute the Christians. We don't. We don't fear their questions. We challenge them for the Christians. You see, they can lie about us in our face. So if you mute them and you take their text down, then how we will get a chance to see what they said and refute them in the spot? This is the time for us to answer them, not the time to mute them. 
if somebody is a flood in the chat warn him not to flood if somebody is spamming etc if somebody using dirty language then you block him but let us see what he's saying so Anwar Satar why you don't call me my friend and let us see what you are saying so either we laugh at you or people laugh at me what do you say Okay, I will call you one more time, Hafiz. Hosefa. See? See? Eh, what I can do? I keep calling you until tomorrow? You are stubborn. Or maybe you don't want me to call you anyway. That's why you are happy, keep saying, call me, call me. Because you know it's not going to work. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Who is a Muslim would like to call me live on air? I will not ask you anything. Anything, whatever you want to talk about, we will talk. When you will shake, shake your man, he is a shaky, you know, this guy is a kid. Coward. The guy who make the uh, make fun of the burqa. You see, when a Muslim he made fun of the burqa, that's mean that's telling you that burqa is a shame, correct? So how his mother, she wear a burqa? How Allah, he wear a burqa? Even the Kaaba wear a burqa. Actually, tomorrow the Muslim, they will change the burqa of the Kaaba. It's time to change the underwear. Have you ever heard of a religion? Their holy, the holy house, or the holy bedroom of Allah, have a burqa. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's a burqa cult everything in this in this cult is about burqa burqa here burqa there burqa burqa everywhere their god you know allah he never spoke to anyone except from behind the burqa why he was using the internet and then they make fun of the burqa and they say this guy is uh, hiding he is wearing a burqa Suppose it's an insult, but their God himself is in the burqa. The wives of Muhammad, they are not allowed to speak to anyone except from behind the burqa, behind the curtain. Are you making fun of Aisha? They don't respect their own cult. They make fun of it. Takbir Khan saying this Christian prince he does not know what he say but the funny is I do not know what I'm saying but you could come in here I mean who is the idiot here Takbir you are a certified idiot because look each time I go live on air you are desperate to come here is that because I do not know what I'm saying <laughs> if this is true that's mean you're an idiot because you are coming to listen to someone who don't know what he is saying <laughs> <laughs> you know, you remind me of Muhammad when he, he he received the revelation. He said to his wife, "What's wrong with me?" Like what? What? What's wrong with me? Did Muhammad says that? Yes. Did Muhammad say what's wrong with me, or I'm making things up? Any Muslim? <clears throat> <sighs> Read with me carefully. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and this is the reference. So he will say to you, it's, it's weak. Right away, they will say to you, it's weak. Doesn't matter what it is. Everything is weak. <laughs> the weak religion. So here it says, What's wrong with me? Who said that? Muhammad. What? What's wrong with you? Muhammad, how you say that? This is embarrassing. Here we go, Christian Prince, he found about it and he will make a scandal about it. Huh? Look, look. He said, Khadija, what's wrong with me? Look, what? Muhammad, he lost his mind. He have no idea what's going on. Are you there, mister? What's wrong with me, follower? So if you're a prophet, you do not know what's wrong with him. 
and you are telling me that we are the wrong? A prophet who just seen an angel, why he is saying what's wrong with me? Well, Mary, she saw the same angel. Did she say what's wrong with me? Is it your Quran says that Jibreel, he came to Mary? <laughs> Did Mary, she go to her, her parents and say, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Those things only happen to Muhammad. What's wrong with me? Hey, Muhammad, are you, are you okay? I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, do you want to see a shrink? By the way, why they call them shrink? They do, like they do shrink when you are talking to them? The only shrink here I see is Muhammad. Muhammad, he shrink. The angel, he came to him, he squeezed him three times, and he looked like a man. At least okay, a man, he come to you, squeeze you three times. Don't you say, stop touching me? It's a man. He's not like a guy with a, like an angel with wings. It's a guy who entered the cave, and he is touching you, squeezing you. Don't you say, stop touching me? But because look, look like Muhammad, he used to be squeezed by everybody. We have to be honest here. In a squeeze was a custom at that time. Like at that time, they don't even shake hands. I squeeze you, you squeeze me. Like this is why in today in English they say, excuse me. It's coming from squeeze me, you know, like excuse me, coming from where? Squeeze me. Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah. Are you there, Mr. Squeeze me? The follower of the being squeezed prophet? Any Muslim can tell us why the prophet was excuse me being squeezed? Why the angel he squeezed him three times? Why three times? What not four? I mean, like in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? What what happened here? Why three why three times? Oh boy. We better stop with the squeezing because we can go farther. So, Islam is a religion of stupidity. They say to us we are pagan, but yet they are the one who kiss black stone. They say we are not following the teaching of God and we don't eat kosher food. And then the city God says, eat their food. Mm -hmm. Eat their food. Like, what? Eat their, their food. Like, what? What? Should we eat their food, but we don't eat with their food? Huh? So we are nudges, we are dirty and you eat our food. How we are dirty and you eat our food? When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. <clears throat> Yusuf Farah, you wanna see my face? Okay, Yusuf Farah, see my face. And what? And what? What? What you will do next? Are you the same as your prophet who would like to be kissed down your belly? Hmm. Show me your face. Show me your face. <laughs> this is the only excuse. They come here. They cannot answer me. They say they start talking about my face. My friend, Allah he erased my face. Are you saying Allah is a liar? Isn't it Allah he saying in the Quran that those who don't believe in Allah, Prophet Muhammad, and those who they are Christians who don't believe Allah, erase their faces. If I show you that I have a face. That will prove that Allah is false God. He made a promise 1400 years ago that the Christians who don't believe in Allah, Allah will erase their face. Same story. Each time we try to call a Muslim, you know what, I will try to find different, uh, different program. Any one of you guys have a experience with Telegram? Do you think Telegram is a good program? I'm thinking to use Telegram, what do you think? I will, I, will, I will test this program, and then we will see if it's good, you know, we, we might use it. Because somehow if I'll talk, uh, like if you have a stolen software, and you know, this is very popular in Muslim countries, uh, all their windows is, you know, not genuine.
person 314 the point that there was illiterate and he was able to produce first of all who said that he was illiterate can you show me any proof of that it says you see when the Muslims he says and Nabi will ummi ummi mean the word ummi is coming from the nation not literate he is not from the Jews the Gomai so the word ummi have nothing to do with being literate that is a stupid to say if you go right down right now in the Quran and I will show in front of your eyes just to show you how idiot those who explain the Quran I will type the word ummi the one the Muslim they use uh, this uh, software is bad or ummiyin let us say ummiyin hmm. read with me carefully chapter 2 verse number 78 it says that those who they are illiterate who do not know the book you see the word ummi so ummi is the one who do not know the scripture not someone who don't know how to write how to read <laughs> and this is all over the quran chapter 3 verse number 20 it says O Muhammad, when you argue with those who've been given the book and the illiterate, okay, who is the illiterate? The one is not giving the book. That's why we say stupid. He's amazing. Uh, it's very obvious he used to know. If you go and read the hadith where Muhammad, he says, bring me a paper and a pen so I will write for you what something you will never give, go lose after it. How he is illiterate and he says that. Hmm? Let us show you the hadith. You see, ignorance is what we face. Stupidity is different level of ignorance. This is Muhammad, and I will show you the hadith in the Muslim translation, not mine. Let us go to the hadith. Here we go. And this is very authentic. Muhammad, he said to them, I remember, this is the Muslim translation. He said, bring me, bring me, not bring me an inscribe. He said, bring me a pen and, and, and ink. So I write for you a document which you will never go astray after. Is that a proof that Muhammad, he knew how to write, how to read? Absolutely. Because if you do not know how to write, how to read, and he said this is a statement, that means he's stupid. Because he don't write, he don't read. How they can say this is weak, this is Sahih Muslim, and we can show it from Al-Bukhari. <laughs> Secondly, when you say Muhammad, he come with the book, it's amazing. This is the most stupid book. So what we are doing here, we are laughing all day long about the book. And you say nobody can come a book with this. First of all, Muhammad, he did not bring a book. Muhammad, he was saying words. Where is the book? If you write down what I said since I started now, today, it's enough to make a book. Actually, the Quran is very small books. It's not even in the size of the index of the Bible. The Quran, all of it, is not even in the size of the index. Where's the book? And if you read the Quran, you don't find the book in the book. One verse Muhammad is speaking about Abraham, the other verse speaking about Zulqarnayn. One verse is speaking about Maryam, the other verse speaking about Moses. One verse is speaking about the sun, the other verse is speaking about the, 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 the potatoes. Where is the, where is the book? So when you say to me, he come with such a book, we die laughing. Muhammad, even his God, supposed he, he got the Quran from his God. Have you ever heard of a God? You don't remember which one he created first? The stars? Or the mountains and grass? One chapter says say something, the other. Or what about the, the sunset and murky water? Or what about the, 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 the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women? <laughs> He come with such a book. We, we, we are laughing day and night at this book. Tran uh, the translation is the book 
and it is an open challenge to produce other book like it look look at this is GPT. okay I, I make now a book it's called deception of allah prove me that your book is better than my book and let me make quran for you right now hmm ya hanan ya manan inni aqra al finjan wa allah asabahu marad al nusyan wa yad'i annahu fahman walakinahu daiman ju'an وقد فقد كل الأسنان فلا يأكل في الفنجان وما أدراك ما الفنجان طاحون له عنوان تضع فيه القهوة ويأتي منها كل بلوى هي وقائم القرآن ما القرآن لك مين كان يو Now what you will say to me, oh, what you said is funny. Well, I, uh, I'm saying to you what the Quran, let me show you what the Muslim, they say, what the Arab says to Muhammad in his time. They said to him, this is nothing but stupid. If we want something like it, we will make. Okay, guys, give me a second. I left something outside. <clears throat> I forgot. Hold on. All right. So, my friend, why you don't call me and show me how how good your Quran is? Hmm? How powerful the Arabic! How powerful the Arabic! I mean, there is a there is a there is a Muslim Sheikh, very well known. He is he he is the one who tells the truth about the Quran. He says this is the most stupid book ever. Anyone can make it like it. There's a very famous Muslim, his name is Taha Hussein from Egypt. He is the top of Arabic writing in Egypt. He said, bring me a pen, I will write better than the Quran. Go check it out. Now, as long as you are saying the Quran is amazing, can you call me and show me the amazing Arabic? And you don't speak Arabic. The funny is saying about how amazing, powerful the Arabic, but he do not know Arabic. Do you know Arabic? <laughs> <laughs> the one who is talking about the Arabic, how amazing he don't speak Arabic. Brother, the Arabic is so good there. Do you speak Arabic? No, brother. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, the book, you know. And look what look what the Arab. Uh, look at this. This is what the Arab they say to Muhammad. They say to him, "This is stupid. If we want to make something like it, we can easy. But this is stupid. This is what the fairy tales of our uh, uh, ancestors. All of those they are saying, those are nothing but the fairy tales of our ancestors." Read with me carefully. Did the Arab says we cannot make something like this? No. Read carefully. And when our revelation was recited into them, they say, we have heard, we have heard, and if we wish, we can speak like it of this. Lo, it is not but fabulous of the man. <laughs> they are making fun of it, and you are intelligent to make them make something equal to something stupid? As long, in fact, you speak Arabic, I want you to tell me. If, okay, can you call me? Mr. Speak Arabic. 
Either you are telling the truth or you are a liar. Is that fair, guys? He said he speak Arabic, I say you don't. Do you accept the challenge to call me? You say you speak Arabic, I say you don't. Is that fair, guys? I say you are a liar. I say you are a fraud. Prove me wrong. Are you willing to call me? Are you willing to call me? <clears throat> what do you think? Ah, if you translate, it's not going to be good. Who has asked me about the translation? And yes, it can be good. There's many bo uh, poetry are translated and they are good. And actually, even according to Arab, all of them they agree, the best who wrote poetry ever in the history of Arabia are Christians. It's called Al Mu'allaqat. And you don't speak Arabic, call me. And the challenge is the following call me in Arabic and show me the most powerful verse in the Quran in Arabic. And I will make everybody laugh at you. Challenge. So, are you going to prove that you know Arabic? And you are bragging about something you know, not something you do not know? Ahmad Dida do not know Arabic. Zak and Naik do not know Arabic. All of you do not know Arabic and speak about how amazing the Arabic of the Quran. So, are you going to call me or not? You don't have a phone? Who said you need a phone? What are you doing now? Guys, you don't have a phone. You do not need a phone. Whatever you are using right now, uh, call me. Use, uh, uh, you have computer? Call me. From the computer, even better. I don't have a phone. <laughs> Abdul, look, even your prophet, he told us where he got his Quran from. When Waraka ibn Nufal, he died, your prophet, he becomes so sad and he decides to kill himself. Why? Because it says, Muhammad saying here in the hadith, that the inspiration of Allah posed. Is that true? Let's read together. This is Waraka ibn Nufal, the wife of Muhammad, she took him to Waraka, the son of the uncle, blah, 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 blah. And actually, I believe he is the real father of Muhammad who was supposed to become a Christian, actually, in fact, he became a Sara, and he used to write the Arabic writing of what? Of the Gospel, that is the Quran. That is the Quran, the Arabic Gospel. Read it. As much as Allah wished him to write, read it carefully. He was a very old man, he lost his sight. And then, it says here, that then, Waraka, he died. Few days after, Waraka died, and the divine inspiration was also passed for a while, and the prophet becomes so sad. Okay, hold on. Waraka died. Why the Quran is not coming? <laughs> what is the connection between Allah Quran and the message of Islam and a guy whose name is Waraka? So now Quran saying that Muhammad saying. And Khadija is saying, and the Muslim reporting for us the story that Waraka he died, not in the Quran. And Muhammad became so desperate. Why? Because he didn't know what to do now. He was getting his Quran from uh, uh, Waraka. So Waraka died, and inspiration stopped. And we have heard that the Prophet became so sad. And as we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the mountain. Do you see how good the Quran is? The Quran was so good to the point Muhammad himself don't believe he's a Prophet. And he decided to kill himself. And then, each time and every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down, Jibreel, he grabbed him from his panty and he said to him, Muhammad, don't do that. Truly, 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 you are a prophet. <laughs> Upon that, uh, his heart will become a quiet and we come down. Where is the guy with the powerful Quran? Are you with me? Are you? You see how powerful the Quran is? The Quran is so powerful to the point Muhammad want to kill himself, which is against the teaching of God. And the Quran is so powerful to the point when Waraka died, there's no more Quran. But look what happened. Muhammad then, his Khadija, she told him, well, wasn't he writing a book? Go and get the book. 
This is why you see the Quran, obviously, is not written by, by one person. Why? Because there's a time where Waraka was alive, and there's a time where Waraka was dead. So there's many, many, many chapters in the Quran came after Waraka death. And those are totally, you, cannot, you can tell, the writer is not the same. And look, even the God of Islam says the Quran is a stupid. Let me show you. If I say to this guy, whatever is his name, what his name is? Poison? I forgot. Uh, the Quran is amazing, right? Okay, look what Allah he says. <laughs> the Quran is so good to the point Allah will make you forget the Quran and he will write something better. Have you ever heard of a very good book? The author of the book, he says, I'm going to write better than this book. Why? Allah, he had better quality. Allah, he went to school and he learned better Arabic. <laughs> hey, guys, I made a few books. I promise you my coming books will be better than the previous books. But this is, can be for a human being. He improved his knowledge. He improved his language. He will be careful about grammar mistakes, maybe. But this is God. How God will cause you to forget his book and why? Because he will send you something better or similar. Look, look, look how look how stupid the one who come with this verse. Because if it is something similar, why you want us to forget it? Have you ever heard of a stupid God like this? You see, this is the guy who's saying to us, Can you make Quran like this? No, no, I cannot. <laughs> I will cause you to forget the Quran, brother, because I will make something similar. Okay, let's do this. Eat hummus every day. Every day eat hummus. Okay, this is the verse I gave you yesterday. Today, I will make you forget it, okay? So forget about the verse I said every day. Eat hummus every every <laughs> hummus eat every day. Now, I will give you something similar. Eat hummus every day, every day eat hummus. But the verse this is the same. <laughs> I told you it's similar. Hello. <laughs> and now Allah is getting smarter. So he says, okay, and I will give you even better. Allah will write Quran better than the Quran of Allah. Like what the heck? So now we have two Quran. Allah Quran number one, which is not good as Quran Allah number two, which is way better. <laughs> and who is the one saying this? It's your God. So don't tell me Sahih al Bukhari. Don't tell me this is interpretation. Don't tell me I don't accept Ibn Kathir. You have to accept your donkey. He will write Quran, similar Quran. And he will write Quran better than the Quran. And then you say to me, who can make Quran like this Quran? And not to forget that the Quran says that Allah will take what Shaitan will throw in the Quran. So, but I, I thought nobody can make Quran, and then suddenly we find that Allah, even Shaitan he made Quran, <laughs> and Muhammad recited the satanic verses, and he did not even notice. <laughs> I thought nobody can make Quran. Like, can, can you make Quran? No, brother, you cannot make Quran. And then what? Isn't it this verse saying that Allah will take off from the Quran what shaitan he put in it? <laughs> you are updating your pal talk, hold your tongue. It, you know, you are here for the last century and now you are updating pal talk. And why is it taking you so long? Pal talk, all, somebody told you pal talk is like 20 barrel of software. These guys, I'm updating. I am live on air for the last one hour and 33 minutes and now you are telling me hold on i'm updating my pal talk what kind of internet you are using allah internet idiot so even even the quran says shaitan he gave muhammad satanic verses and allah will take it from the quran but i thought nobody can make quran number three and this will be the final as long as nobody can make Quran. Are you saying to me that all the verses in the Quran are not true? Because if only Allah can make those verses, but Allah is not the only one who is talking there. Shaitan, he take the talk there. 
Mary she talked there, Isa he talked there, Moses he talked there, but I thought nobody can make Quran. <laughs> this remember nobody can make Quran remember huh? who is the one who said this Allah or the Jews who is the one said that Mary or Allah who is the one who says that who is the one who said this verse 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 the Jews. I thought nobody can make Quran. So if you are saying to me that this is not what the Jews said, that's mean this is a fabrication. If you are saying that Allah is the one is making this, that's mean the Jews did not say that. Correct people? The Jews they say to Mary, oh sister of Aaron, which is a stupid again. I mean how Mary she became the sister of Aaron. There's hundreds of years between them. Oh sister of Mary, who said that the Jews? And then they, you know, she pointed her fingers to the cradle, and then Jesus, he spoke. I thought Allah is the one who made the Quran, and nobody can make Quran. But as you see, the Jews are making Quran, Mary making Quran, Isa making Quran, everybody making Quran except Allah. Do you see how stupid your argument is? Because if the Jews, they did not say, oh, sister of Aaron, and Allah saying the Jews said that, that's mean, Allah is a liar. But if the Jews are the one truly he say, they said that, that means the Jews are the one who made those verses. People, are you listening? Are you listening? Do you see how you can get them busted so easy? Friendly? Nobody can make Quran. So now we showed you that Allah himself, he accept to say that there's a bad Quran, a good Quran. And then we show you that the Quran, sent even by Shaitan, Allah will take the verses from Shaitan. And then we show you that the Quran full of stories, and the one is talking there is not Allah. So those are making Quran. Either the Jews are the one who said, O sister of Aaron, or they did not. If they are the one who said that, that means this is made by the Jews, not by Allah. And every single speech there is made by the Jews. Look what Jesus said. Is Allah is making this or Jesus? Peace be upon me the day I was born, the day I die, and the day I shall be raised alive. Who said that? Jesus. Here we go. Jesus, he can make Quran better than Allah. I thought nobody can make Quran like Allah. Mary make Quran. Stupidity is amazing. They don't even use their brain. They don't even have it no more because they decide to follow blindly. They don't want to use their brain. And that's why none of you dare to debate me, because you are no match with your intellect, with your logic, with your knowledge, with everything. You are blindly following the piss camel drinking prophet, the black stone kisser, the pagan Muhammad. Who dare to debate me? Who dare? None. And this is why we say, we are following Jesus. Even in the stupid cult of Islam, there's no better name than Jesus. Ask the Muhammad, where is Jesus? He said to you in heaven, where is Muhammad? Is in the grave. So why we follow Muhammad, the grave guy? You just told me that my Jesus is alive. Let us say for the sake of argument, he was a prophet. Why in the world anyone would have follow a perverted man, his name is Muhammad? A man, he is 54 years old going after a child. A man who encourages men not to marry widows or women, growing women, but to marry children. A criminal, a thief. A man who go to his own son's house when the husband was there and he flirted with the wife. And this is in your books. Why we want to follow such a man when we have Jesus? To give us what? To go around the black stone and kiss a black stone, the pagan Muhammad? A person who allow us to use the name of God in vain? If he is a true God anyway. Everything about your religion is pagan. So my friend, we are Christians for there is no name better than the name of Christ. We are Christians because Muhammad is defeated and he is under the ground and he is dead. 
and Jesus is alive. And the verse is in front of you. Chapter 19, verse number 33 says that there is peace upon Jesus. Jesus was one second old, just born. He speak. And he speak as what? Muslims they say as a prophet. Muhammad took him 40 years. He was a pagan man, supposedly. 40 years. And when the angel squeezed him, still he did not know what's going on. He said to his wife, what's going on with me? Jesus is one second old, and he is saying wisdom. Speaking wisdom. Teaching wisdom. Promising peace be upon me. There is peace with me wherever I go. There is peace with me in the day I'm born. There is peace with me even the day I die. There is peace with me even the day I'm going to be resurrected. For I am the peace king. I am Jesus. That is my Lord, my friend. Which nobody can defeat. No grave was able to hold him. No death was able to take him. And no sin was able to conquer him. That is my Jesus. In chapter 19, verse 19, it says, He is the Holy Son. He is what? He is the Holy Son. What make him holy? Save he is God. Because no man is holy. No human is holy. There is no holiness for any human. The Bible confirmed that. Every, every man is a sinner. And Muhammad, he copied that from the Bible. He says, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Jesus is not. Jesus is not. Mr. Yemeni, the one who is talking of hiding behind the screen, I am your God, Allah. Worship me. I speak from behind the hijab. Isn't the Quran saying that? Get lost. I'm hiding behind the screen and yet I'm conquering Islam. So what if I show my face? What do you want me to do? Jump in your lap, you idiot? We are using the internet, both of us. He's hiding behind the screen. Coward like he's a prophet. They cannot refute us. They cannot debate us. They cannot answer us. And we can refute them as a blink of an eye. But remember... This is a religion who believed that Suleiman he died for a year and he was standing and nobody noticed he was dead because he was holding his stick. What? <laughs> and then the brother, the termite, the termite brother, they ate his stick brother. Took them a year brother. And then he fell down, and then his wife. I mean, the guy is dead for a year, and nobody noticed that he's dead. What about his wives? Nobody. Ministers. This guy is a king. This guy is a king. He is holding his stick standing, and nobody noticed that he's dead. And the termite ate his stick. And since when, if you are holding a stake and you are a human and you die, you can stand you know, still. <laughs> so the termite ate the stake, but the guy did not decay. And let us say even you did not decay. So what if you are holding a stake still? Your body cannot carry you. Stupidity is amazing. <sighs> Actually, what is the guy who said to us nobody can make Quran like this Quran? <laughs> we have to agree. <laughs> hey brother, we have to agree. Nobody can make Quran like this Quran. I mean, this is the best cartoon ever. Can you make Quran like this Quran? I mean, come on, let us be honest here. Can you make Quran like this Quran? I cannot. And when we decree Solomon death, nothing showed them his death except the little worms of the earth, which kept slowly gnawing, gnawing. 
يا يمي هي سيستر برينج برينج مور ترما كده اس كول اوردر اول ذا فاميلي ذات از ايت اول ذس ستيك اند وي هاف تو ايت ات از جوين تو تيك اس وات يو ثينك هاو لونج از جوين تو ايت اس ديت اي تيك اس تو ايت ات اي ثينك از جوين تو تيك اس لايك 12 مانث سمثينج لايك ذس اوكي ات ستارت ووكينج اند ناو ذا ترمايت ار ايتينج ذا ستيك اوف سليمان وات از ذا جاي هو سين تو مي يو كان يو ميك ا بوك لايك ذس ار يو ذير Can you make a book like this? For sure I cannot. So the guy was standing still and he is dead and nobody noticed that he is dead for more than a year until the termite they ate his staff. I'm truly convinced. I mean, this is a true story. Right? Better, 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 better. I hide myself and you are hiding yourself too. Show me yourself in the camera. Call me and open your camera and I will put you on the screen. Better, better. Do you dare to call me and I, I will put you, you open your camera for me and I will make you famous. And you answer what I'm saying. Is that fair, guys? Those guys, they like to be in the camera. They want to do showtime. Don't strip these like Allah. Allah will show his shame. Don't do that. Coward. Can you make Quran like this? No, we cannot. What is this? The termite eating the staff of Suleiman and nobody noticed that he is dead? Why? And why Allah he did that? Can't Allah delay his death? <laughs> and why Allah allowed the termite to do that? Can't he buy some home depot spray? Spray around it. Nobody will come to the, ter the termite, they will die. This is religion. I mean, are you sure? <sighs> anyway, it's time for me to go. I hope you guys, you have a good time and suppose this is a short video. We are here for one hour, 46 minutes. Like what? what a short video is that all right so we will give you a, a chance for people to watch it don't forget to download my videos and if you have any muslim sheikh he claimed to be a sheikh he claimed all of them they claim to be sheikh by the way they grow beard but anyone can grow beard i saw a goat just yesterday her beard is so long yet she cannot say anything she have no idea except eating plastic bags so if you have a shake and he claimed that he is a shaky shake, he can shake the world, let him call me. And I will see uh, if I'm going to use uh, Telegram because somebody told me about it. I'm not sure about this program yet. And uh, because it looks like this pal talk is causing us problem for people to call. So we will see if that program is good and we can use it. So I want to say, uh, may the Lord bless you all. Remember, to pray for the Muslim to see the truth and the truth will set them free. Muslims, there's nobody die standing for a year. Your prophet is a stealing a sto silly story from the Jews. Those are the stories, legions, the Jews they tell to their babies. Your silly prophet, he copy whatever they say. He's an idiot. He's half Jews made. They made him, they made Islam by their hands. By telling those funny stories, flying carpet, flying horse. A carpet can fit for 600,000 chairs. And the king who fly over his carpet with all his army. All the army. Yes, brother. And 600,000 chair. Yes, brother. Are you sure? <laughs> Very sure, brother. <laughs> And the sun set in murky water, and he found where the sun rise, and he found next to it people of Gog and Magog, and then they told him to build a dam. Dam. And now they cannot come out of the dam. And they all, the, 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 like, uh, uh, the uh, uh, percentage of the Gog of Magog, they are not a human, supposedly, to the human being, are 1,000 to one of us. So where are they? So if we are seven billions, there should be seven trillions. All of those seven trillions behind the dam. <laughs> where? <laughs> oh, 
oh boy <laughs> anyway thank you very much guys for being here may the lord bless you and uh, until don't forget you can download my videos all of them are for free and you can read my books i have my books sponsored to many languages you know uh, uh, like indonesian russian uh, albanian uh, uh, you know many many languages they are for free you can uh, people here they post for you links so you can uh, read them and we give our you know my books for free uh, so more and more people will see the truth and the truth will set them free not because we are rich absolutely not but it's more important for us to help and you know to to save souls and life from anything else uh, at the same time i say thank you for those who support us in every way in every mean those who download our videos those who add subtitle those who add translation and those who make donation thank you god bless you and until we see you soon again this is your brother humbly christian prince was teaching allah a lesson to behave or else we will make you shish kebab allah and we do every time we go live on air you are a joke you are a fabricated name god you are false god black stone kissers kissing stones will not save you going around the room will not help you even the kaaba which is located according to muslim in the center of the earth and chosen to be location by allah is it chosen to be in the most funny stupid location if you go to the quran to the to the to the to the to prophet google peace be upon him you will find that the kaaba was flooded every year almost by the sewage until the money of the oil came and now they are trying their best to divert the water of the sewage from coming they don't but there's no sewage actually in in mecca but always when rain come the kaaba was flooded with dirty water very dirty water how this is can be a chosen location by god how this is can be the best location in the earth can't Allah raise the Kaaba two meters high? Can't he put his finger underneath and put a rock? What kind of God he chose the worst location for his place? Imagine you hire the highest engineer in the world to build a house for you, and this is a holy house. It's a house of God. And then this house is flooded by poopoo every year. All the poopoo of the town go to the lowest point where is the Kaaba is located? How that the, can be the house of God? How? You tell me. Those pictures are taken by Muslims. They are not Photoshop. Those pictures, we have no reach the Kaaba. Look at the dirty water around the Kaaba. This is the house of God, and this is where he chose his location to be. Yet the Muslim, they have tons of videos speaking how amazing the location of the house of Allah. And you go inside the big mosque, big, huge mosque, even after the oil, after the money. Look at this one. This is after the oil came. Inside the mosque of Allah around the Kaaba, you walk to your chest with water. Do you see it? If Zach and I come online for a debate, are you ready to debate him? My friend, I'm not ready. I'm always here to debate him. Ready? I do not need to be ready. He's a, he's a potato. Debate him. Zach and I do not even know how to say his prophet name correctly. Are you ready to debate him? <laughs> so what we do here, we keep saying anyone can call me. How come every day I say anyone can call me? Do I need to say I'm ready to debate him? Who is this guy? Those people, they avoid someone like me because that will be the end of their career. Are you ready to debate him? As if supposed to, he's a scholar. Hmm? Handsome fellow, you don't believe in what I am saying? Okay. Well, look like your mom, she could not find a name for you. So you called yourself handsome follow. But don't go to San Francisco, please. That will be a problem for you. You will get a lot of tickets <laughs> in your bum. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. I hope you are having a good time. I know I make you laugh. 
laughing is good but remember always we are here laughing at evil at stupidity we are not trying to laugh at any human being but at stupidity so a human being can wake up we are not here to laugh we are here to enjoy the truth and the truth will set you free and the truth is Jesus Muhammad is not a prophet all things he promised turn to be false and the Bible says clearly false prophet either they prophesy in the wrong in the name of their own God or even their prophecies come to false and all the prophecies of Muhammad they are false so trust me my friend you must challenge even Farouk. We challenge everybody. What Farouk? This guy, we told him. I told him, give me your number, I will call you. All of them, all of them. Guys, how many of them he says, let me call you? How many of them? All of them. No exception. I will call you right now. Bring me your shake. Don't ever say to me, this guy and that guy, I will block you. Stop being stupid. Christian Prince is willing to debate anyone. Big, small, fat, skinny, long beard, short beard. With hair, no hair, Taliban, Saliban, Valiban, whatever you want. Don't bring me names. Don't be stupid. Don't be silly. Don't be a kid. Stop being a kid. Bring me the best man you have. And look how funny you are. You says you should challenge this guy and challenge this guy. Why you don't bring them? Why you are wasting your time? Don't you like to see the fight? Bring them. The best you have. I will never say to any one of them, no. Never. All those who claim to be big, they are so small. And that's why they avoid me. Don't you see, they are lining up to talk to some Christians. I'm not going to mention names, but nobody want to come to me. Why? What is the problem? They call online, they speak online, everything they do is online. Why, when it's come to me, we debate you only face to face? Simple, because they knew that Christian Prince, he don't go anywhere. Why wanna go anywhere? What for? Right? So anyway, those are a bunch of kids and they are coward. And they knew their size and good for them that they knew it. This is why they will not dare to let me call them and they will not dare to call me. Not only they will not call me, they will not let me call them. True? Yes, it's true. So my friend, we are victorious. And I pray to the Lord that more and more Muslims are leaving Islam. And actually, you believe it or not, I have a, a huge number of those who donate to me in Patreon. They are ex-Muslims. When I see the names of those people who they are donating in Patreon, I say, how the Lord is amazing. Those who used to hate me, they are donating for me. Those who used to be angry from me, they are supporting me. Isn't, isn't it the Lord is amazing? You see how the Lord, he changed the heart of people? So really, things is amazing. Look at this guy, he said. Look at this guy. He says, Quran alone. He is not a Muslim. Because anyone who say Quran alone, it's mean he is not following the Quran. <clears throat> this is why those guys aren't Muslims and they are not even worth to speak to them. What Quran alone? Quran alone. The truth that Jesus is no more than a messenger. John chapter 17, verse number 3. That he is not the Father who is the greatest. That they was not sent to the Gentile. Open your sky. <laughs> you know what? I was going to go. But just to show you how stupid you are. I will go right now in front of everybody and read John chapter 17. And right away, in two seconds, you will say, I don't believe in John chapter 17. <laughs> because either you accept it or you deny it. But because you are a hypocrite Abdul, a muta practice, you don't want to listen. How come you go to John chapter 17, but you did not see verse number one? 
Did you see verse number one? In the in the statement you gave me, it says he is not the son and not the father. <laughs> John 17, verse number three. What, what about John verse number one? There is the word speak Jesus and lifted up his eyes to the heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify the Son, that the Son is also may glorify thee. <laughs> Let us go to your comment. John, John, not this guy, where is the, hold on, the other guy. <laughs> I have too many, too many screenshots. <laughs> He is not the father who is the greatest. He is not the father who is the greatest. You stupid idiot. Who said that he is the father? We Christian, we don't believe in the, that Jesus is the father. This is why the father is the father. The son is the son and the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. Three person, you idiot. And here, by the way, you notice that Muhammad and they even prove that Islam is false because the God of Islam, he says, that the Christians believe that the Messiah is Allah. You see how stupid the one who wrote the Quran? But we don't believe that the Messiah is the Father. Read and laugh. لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمُ so according to Muslims, according to Allah, the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. But we don't. Regardless of what Allah who is Allah now, let us say for the sake of argument, Allah supposedly is the Father. But we don't believe in that. Stupidity is amazing. So not only they cannot comprehend our book, they cannot, their God himself cannot comprehend our book and cannot comprehend our belief and he don't understand our belief according to the Quran the Trinity is the father the son and Mary the wife <laughs> so here you see in John 17 that the father will glorify the son okay if, if if Jesus is just a man why the father will glorify him what? glorify who the son so the son may glorify the father do you see it who has given him the power over the flesh, all the flesh. See, so you see why the coward, he jumped verse number one and verse number two? Because those verses prove that Jesus is God. And he is the one who have the power over all human and all the flesh. That he should give eternal life as many as thou has given to him. Who is the one who give eternal life? Jesus. So he jumped to verse number three, copy paste. And this is the eternal life that the might they know that the only true God and Jesus Christ who has you sent. This is the verse you want to say, show me? But this verse confirm that Jesus is the son and he is the one giving the power over the flesh and he is the one who gave eternal life and the eternal life is to believe in Jesus. Do you see how easy to destroy this stupid cult? Liars, they copy, paste, but they cut. Don't let them do that to you. Go and read the verses. And this guy, ultimate fart, he don't believe in the Quran. He says, I do not need to understand Arabic to know the Quran. I said, so what the true, what, how you read it? <laughs> he don't accept the tafsir. He don't accept the hadith, and the hadith is made by the false Arab, Arab. And he don't accept the Quran too. He don't speak Arabic. He don't accept the translation. What a stupid idiot. Don't waste your time with those people. But those people are kids, and they give us a chance to humiliate Allah, as he just did now. They didn't know what they are saying. But by making those false accusations, they can help the Christians to study their Bible better. And now thank you, Ultimate Fort, 
because of your statement the Christians now they saw something very important that chapter 17 in the Bible confirms something very extremely important for the Christians that Jesus he is glorified by the Father and the Son who is glorified by the Father he glorified the Father too God don't glorify anyone He don't because all the glory belong to him but God the Father glorify God the Son and the power over the flesh here Jesus is explaining because people what they see they see in front of them a man where is your where do you get your authority from who are you you are just a man what we see is a man a human being so Jesus here confirming to them that I am the son and I have authority over you your God which you worship he is my father and he gave me the authority over you so I have the authority over all the flesh and I am the one who can send you to heaven and I am the one who can send you to hell if you ask the Muslims, who is the one who sent people to heaven to hell? They says Allah. Well, Jesus says, I am the one who sent people to hell. I am the one who sent people to heaven. I am the one who gave eternal life. And eternal life is me. And this is how we answer the fool. Isn't it amazing? how the fool they defeat their religion any Muslim before we go would like to call me last chance I'm willing to stay if there's a Muslim can call me If there is any Muslim, and a Muslim person is a person who believes in the Quran, he believes in what Muhammad taught, not a Muslim, he have his own fiction. If you believe in all your fiction, you don't believe in the Quran, you don't believe in the Hadith, you don't believe what is written in your books, then don't, you know, we have nothing to talk about. We are just not a Muslim anyway. We are here to debate Muslims. So do we have any Muslim want to do that? Anyone? Additional to those who they are saying calling names in the chat. How many Muslims do will leave Islam today? After watching this video? We don't know. But trust me, there's many that will see how silly, how stupid it is. Every single video we make is a big huge nail in a coffin have a lot of nails already. This is why Islam needs the protection of the sword, because Islam cannot stand. Take the sword away. Islam is gone. There is nothing can protect Islam, except terrorist. Allah cannot. Allah, if he is God, he does not need a terrorist to defend him. Allah, if he is God, he does not need somebody to do suicide bombing. Allah, if he is God, he do not need a child to be in the street walking next to his mom to die because of a car bombing. Why do you want to do that? Aren't you God? God, when he wants, he can destroy cities. He can destroy countries. He can burn the earth. He do not need a silly Abdul to kill himself for the sake of fake God. So he can get the version. Not because he believes in the God, but because he wants sex they don't worship god they worship private parts they are dreaming about it they are willing to die for the sake of sex this is a very sexual religion and this is what satan he do he tempt you always either by money or by sex or by all means of temptation where your temptation is satan is located so is allah 
Thank you. May the Lord bless you all. And we pray to the Muslims, please love them, don't hate them. They do not know what they are doing. Remember what Jesus says in the cross, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. But remember, learning from John 17, that Jesus who was given the authority by the Father over all the flesh, he is the one who will give eternal life. So Muslims, I have a news for you. Muhammad cannot give you eternal life. You better follow Jesus. If you, give, if you care to go to heaven, Jesus is the only one who can take you to heaven. And his heaven is not about sex. For he is holy God and his heaven is holy. Sex is exist in this earth so we can reproduce. Not for the joy of sex. Sex is exist to make a family. So a man, he loves a woman and they live together and they have a family. Not because God is trying to create a horny creature. God, he made that inside you. So you may produce. Otherwise, if it's no pleasure on it, nobody would do it. And the race of a human being will be ended. Sex was not for the sake of sex. It was for the sake of family. Muhammad, he made it for the sake of sex. He made his God the God of sex. Have you ever heard of a God he promised us women with big boobs? Why? What kind of God and what kind of language? Why he need to tell me how big their boobs is? What is exactly he's trying to say to me? What is the delivery of this message? And now after I learned that this God, if I believe in him, he will give me women with big boobs. What if I don't like big boobs? What those boobs will do? Are they going to help me to float in case of a flooding like in Germany now? So I can hold them and I will not be drowned? Why God? He described his heaven, he jumped from a garden and grave to boobs. What is the connection? This God was in the bar. He was drunk. Believe in me and get the boobs. And this is God, supposedly. And now every Muslim is wondering, how big is those boobs? Remember the hadith says that the woman in heaven, her ass, sorry for using the word, will not fit even one mile in the ground, which means her ass is even one mile, is, is bigger than a mile. So if the bum is one mile, the boobs is what? Half mile, each one of them? What is that? This guy, he exaggerate about everything. The number of the women, 70 years orgasm. Your private part will be endless. So you are living in China and your private part in uh, Mars. Oh, so he's, he keep going. He's not on Mars. He's not stopped. Don't worry. He keep going. Endless. What is that? What kind of a prophet he is? What he's talking about? And the funny, the Muslim, they say, why does guy keep talking about sex? As if they have anything to talk about except sex. Say that your God, not to me. I'm courting him. Have you ever heard of a God he made verses ordering Muslim women to give their boobs to strangers? And what that will do? Supposedly he will not be looking at you anymore since when? Since when a woman, if she gave her breast to a man, he will not think about her in a bad way? Since when? This guy is a crazy, he's a, he's a sex maniac. The big boob cult, the burqa cult. Their God, he wear a burqa. Their Kaaba wear a burqa, and they force their women wear a burqa, and then they make fun of the burqa.
don't forget tomorrow that you will change the burqa of your Kaaba. Why? Is it dirty? Allah could not preserve the Kaaba burqa. Why Allah don't make his own burqa for the Kaaba? Like why we don't wake up in the morning and we see a new burqa made by Allah? Why you have to make a burqa in Chinese manufacture? Even your burqa of the Kaaba is made in China. Can we believe it? May the burqa of China bless the Kaaba of Allah. Until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and God bless you all. Happy Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.